I hope you're all doing well, and it's great to see you all watching today, as Reality Based presents Reality Based Banter, with Mephisto's favourite entertainment, of all sorts of great films, modern and classic, with a bit of history and witty banter mixed in. So I hope you all enjoy, or at least find this video informative. But first, for more videos like these, be sure to subscribe. Because the truth is reality based. What's the question? Um, what do you regard as entertainment? Do I do I uh, uh, consume Jeffrey Starmer? <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. Mephisto, uh, what uh, do you regard as peak entertainment? Uh, Jay. <laughs> To, to be uh, to be absolutely fair, it really depends on the moment. It could be, it could be like a good movie. It could be a, a good TV show, or it could be just uh, sitting in my car in traffic, listening to to music. Just what I did today, because some fucking fuckhead decided to take his motorcycle and just do a barrel roll through the interstate. So was it Hamas? Uh, no, <laughs> just a fucktard with a did with he, a did ya, he trade with in a his Yamaha nine hundred motorcycle <laughs> with a fucking sorry, Yamaha nine hundred. What the That's fuck? A terrible man. thing to say. Oh. Hey, no, the guy lived. Yeah, I felt fair enough. I'm, I'm not joking. He did a barrel roll, got up, and just stood there in the middle of the fucking road while people were like, <gasps> like this. I'm not oh. joking. Uh, and I was just in traffic for an extra 10 minutes today while watching this idiot. Uh, and uh, <laughs> everybody was shocked. And I was like, that guy is fucking lucky. And no, it wasn't an entertainment. If you watch it on like a video on, a, on an Instagram reel, yeah, it's funny. Mm -hmm. But if you watch it real life, it's like fucking idiot. I am still trying to recover from the last five minutes, gentlemen. I know. Get an avatar, sleepy pilgrim. It's not that <laughs> still here and laughing. <laughs> oh. Anyway, anyway, uh, it, it it just up up to the to the moment. It's a really hard question to to ask. Like oh. I ha I had like a religious experience while watching Liverpool versus AC Milan in two thousand what five or four was it? That made me sick. What, what, it's I was that year where AC, it was the the Champions League finals. AC Milan were three and three nil in the first half, and Liverpool got back to to three three, and then won four three, and it was disgusting. Ooh. And yeah. but I had a like a religious experience because I wasn't for any one of those teams, but my best friend was was. In, in my apartment, and he was a massive Liverpool fan. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> correct. That is the correct. <sighs> oh, anyway, my. it really is down to just uh, experiencing a like a good feeling. Like, uh, dude, before I before like like a couple of hours ago. Mm -hmm. I was starting to prepare stuff for uh, for the weekend. I've got uh, a big show. It's a Lord of the Rings show, and uh, it's the Fellowship of the Ring. Anyway, I was doing some stuff around the house while doing some starting to do research. My wife was flipping on the TV because she's she's got a, a girlfriend over, and she's like, G "Give us a, a movie to watch." I was like, "Okay, I, I've got this movie to watch." By the way, I gave him to watch uh, Office Space. They finished it. And I was like, give us another movie. Like, what the fuck? They switched over. I don't have a lot of channels. I have like news and one movie channel that is terrible. And they flip it over. And what's on the channel? Fellowship of the Ring started. The theatrical cut. And I was like, should I watch it? Should I not watch it? I sat down, watched 10 minutes, then got up to the PC and just put on just Lord of the Rings music while I was working on the research. And I enjoyed that very much. It's, it, it's all depending on, on, on the mood for me. 
But yeah, I can sit down, like I said, I can sit down and have a, like, a, not a religious experience, but I enjoyed, r like, the Billy Mitchell video so much. It was so entertaining because it's a documentary, but it was so well thought out. You sort of build a case against Billy Mitchell, and it was layer after layer after layer. It's like, oh my God, this guy is legit it is legit well it's good to see uh, some of the fine folks in the chat uh, giving what they regard as as peak entertainment um pulu isn't a fan of of proper football they like to call yeah, it soccer Pula, what are you talking about yeah. mm. uh, pulu's english isn't he or british at least i have no idea yeah i think he is the way he talks he's got to be he's got to be yeah good good don't worry, my good man. We'll get to that on, in topics of the day. Ooh, That's point ooh. three. We're, we're on point one. We'll, we'll get there. These guys have nearly killed me in point one through laughing, but, but good. We'll get there. <laughs> Death by what a way to go. Entertainment. Yeah. Yeah. Are oh. you not entertained? Well, my cough has returned. Throw your sword. Vengeance. But uh, yeah, it's good to see Let's everyone. Sleepy, he hasn't watched that movie, so he doesn't understand the reference. Oh, sorry. He, he must have seen that. You haven't seen Gladiator? Have you not seen Gladiator? Um, I think Crow? I have, but it's been a while. Okay. Right. I think Never it was heard. released in 2000, so I was yes. very young when it when it released in... Uh, you were like in, one. Yes, yes, yeah. and you yeah, were I like, was like 35 two when The Godfather like came 30. out, and it's still my favorite movie. <laughs> yeah, I was one when Alien came out, that's a good one as well. We'll try our best, Ronnie. We will, we will. <laughs> I try was two our best. months old when Alien came out. Yeah, it's not my Do favorite you... movie, though. Oh, oh, sorry, I was, I was less than I'm older than you, I'm late 77, so I was one and a bit. Hmm. There, there is, is a reason. The fuck up. <laughs> what was that, Sleepy? <laughs> so this is where I shut the fuck up. <laughs> what, why is that? Because I'm really old. You don't ah. going on we're about all, my age. You're gonna give me a. We're concept. already old. He, already nobody old. Nobody cares. Yeah. Not exactly. even Ryan. He and Dude. Ryan looks fifty. Yeah. And Ryan's less than half my age. <laughs> I, I know. When I worked out that I could be Ryan's dad, it literally was just like I mean. <laughs> It's like, hang yourself. You. it's like hang yourself on Minecraft time, that is. I'll tell you all Technic this. Technically, I could be Ryan's granddad. Oh, it's incredible, isn't it? Sleepy's, no. Sleepy's <laughs> first <laughs> film when he was one was Lawrence of Arabia. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What's it called? Metropolis. That's the, that's the 19th. Oh. <laughs> 1933, oh. yeah. Uh, is it, oh, no. There's, what, what's the one from, like, what's the earliest? What's the, like, the first big film? I thought Citizen Kane was 30s. Was that 40s? No, Citizen Kane no, was, was, Kane was 60s. 60s. Was it? I thought it was earlier 50, than that. No, 50 something. Right. Uh, you got Metropolis was a big one. Uh, you got um, uh, King Kong is uh, it, King Kong is 33. definitely 1933. Yeah. That's that's considered to be the blockbuster. Metropolis, I think maybe 32. Chaplin was 30s. Metropolis wasn't was it? silent though. Yeah. What? Yeah. Metropolis. I yeah, Metropolis so. was silent. No, Metropolis had like um, uh, music, a music like a, I'm not sure. Some of it was uh, uh, like Wagner, mm -hmm. and some of it was sort of like Vangelis esque, but not Vangelis because he's like much younger. I'm a massive but, fan. Yeah, of that's what, that's what I thought, Ronnie. Yes, yeah, I mean, I I, I first though. became aware of uh, Metropolis when Queen used it in the Radio Gaga. Video. Yes, me and too. Then I me was too. like, oh, yeah, I need to go and see that. And well, there I is did. one, there is one old film that I know, because uh, you know, Klansman, uh, Birth of a Nation. When was that? Nineteen fourteen, nineteen fifteen. I, I, I think uh, that was an early one. Yeah, not Hollywood. Yeah, it was a silent film, but it was Hollywood's first blockbuster. Right, and it's often cited as a great example for filmmakers on the building blocks of making a film. It's incredibly racist, but it is used for uh, education. Mm, when purposes. you say it's often cited as, a, as an example of that, you mean by taxi drivers? No, no, by film 
people. Uh, London okay, counties. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> get them out. Get them all out. Get them all out. The anyway. First Hollywood blockbuster, so they use okay. it all right. as an example. Go ahead. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say, yeah, Chaplin and Buster Keaton had like big films that were silent. Harold um, Lloyd as well. Harold Lloyd too. A same kind of the same kind of vein, uh, physical <laughs> comedy, all that stuff. Uh, but that's like pre-war. Which one? Uh, between oh, two wars. Ah, between the two. Ah, right. Okay. Because because when I think of before the war, it's like there were two of them. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, bit of it's reality. Enough, based the first TV. world war was not named the first war war. The, when they it was named the Great War. Yeah. Then there was another one which was absolutely greater. It would have been some. It would have been some degree of pessimism to to label it World War One before Number Two, wouldn't it? So. <laughs> oh well. On that note, let's get to another World War, which is Point Two. The well, folks, that's Reality Based presents Reality Based Banter with Mephisto's favorite entertainment, along with a bit of witty banter back and forth, offensive comedy, and one hell of a history lesson. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you all very much for watching. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, and no one else, bye for now, folks.